Cosmo Girl, you know I'm here for you. I gather your questions, I mull them over, then I go straight to the magazine and get your answer. But today, I'm here at The Source, New York City, at Cosmo Radio, where they tell it like it is, and all bets are off. Let's go. Hey, girl, hey, welcome back. It's Wake Up with Taylor and Cosmo Radio, Series XM 109. I'm Taylor Fitzkenny. Hey, Mr. Vans. Hi, Taylor. And our good friend Wilder from Oh So Cosmo TV, hanging out with us right now. Hello. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, yeah, good to see you. I have three questions from our viewers, and they're really excited to hear what you have to say about Really? It's a lot of Canadians listen to your show, as yes. you know. So I, maybe I'll just get right into it. So here's the first question. Okay. My guy and I have been dating for a while, and the sex is good. But I feel like I'm having deja vu every time we do it. How do I get him to spice things up? Wow. You're going to come out of the gate strong with a sex oh, question. Oh, yeah. I'm sea biscuit eating you right now. I think if she wants him to spice it up, then she has to just take the lead. Get a, a new issue of Cosmo. And look at the sex positions. As a guy, yeah, like I'll be the first position. to admit, every guy kind of has their, like, routine that they do. They know it works for the girl, right? especially if you've been together for a while. They know it works for them. How many positions do you guys really have in your repertoire? And don't bull me, okay? I'm serious. Yeah, there's the basic three. Yeah. Right, which is? Well, doggy. There's, there's doggy girl on top that's and the one missionary. That you guys first yeah. go to. What's your favorite? Well, if you know there's three positions that work, then we're gonna use those. We Wait. might switch them up. We might start with so, doggy. We might end with doggy. Right. Now, let's move on because I got I got two more here. Dear Wilder, I love my boyfriend and we're totally monogamous, but his fantasy is to have a threesome. I'm nervous but curious. Is it a terrible idea to bring another girl into the bedroom? Yes. Terrible. I say yes to Don't do it. I agree. What are you crazy? Uh, it could be fun for her to try it. I don't think you, you can go ever back. go back. No. Could be being the same. You become like yeah. that girl. And it's the guy's idea. Which I is a hate bit this. weird. Which means he's going to be so fired up, like the yeah. way he was when you guys first met. And then the girl's going to see something in him that she hasn't seen in a while and be like, oh, he likes her more. It'll really mess with the. Uh, you have to be a special person. I do feel like he has the upper hand. All of a sudden, yeah. you've given him the control in the relationship. The thing is about this question, though, is that, like, she, he's asking for the threesome. Right. She's asking if she should do it. So she says no. She's kind of like, damned if she does, damned if she doesn't. Good. Get rid of him. Who so wants just a get guy rid like of him. that? Okay, so <laughs> let's get to the last question. Question. All right, so it's hey, Wilder, I'm getting married, but my guy is going to Vegas for oh. his bachelor party. Oh. Should I be worried what really goes on during these weekends? Have you seriously gotten into any trouble at bachelor parties for real? I, yes, I've gotten into trouble because I'm not getting married. Right, you're saying that's the point about the bachelor parties, in my experience. The bachelor is behaved. He's great. He's the guy. He's like hosting. No, he's like, is everyone okay? Do you need a drink? I'm having fun. Uh, you guys do your thing. I feel like, like he's a target on his chest, back, and head. Taylor's right, and and Wilder's right. I think it's all the other guys, but you, the bachelor, is the one who never breaks. <laughs> you know, I know it's it's cool to be like, I trust you, babe. I trust you, but I like like to lay down the law before right. he goes to Vegas, and it's like I consider having sex with somebody with a strap on. Cheating. <laughs> so you, you're right. You can set some boundaries. Okay. That's fine. But you can't tell the guy. You can't go to a no, strip club. No, you can't. And, uh, it's like he can't go to can't Vegas and be like, wife. okay, guys, sit down. I got to tell you something. My uh, wife said that I, have uh, I can't. I have boundaries. I can't go to a strip club. <laughs> I can only have six drinks tonight. Yeah. And uh, yeah, no. No. Fair enough. I know. Sometimes yeah. I like to control things. <laughs> Wilder, thank you for joining us. Yeah, good to see you, man. Thanks for having me It's again. always so much fun. And you guys check out Wilder. Yeah. Oh, so Cosmo. Cosmo.